It's awful out there, out near Lyman, 64 mile per hour gusts right now. Springfield, six or earlier today, 64. Uh, Springfield, 62 mile per hour winds. The Springs, 58 mile per hour winds. And out at DIA, 53 it was how strong those winds got earlier today. And right now it is still really gusty out on our eastern plains. And there is some light snow out there right now, so creating some very low visibility. So again, gusty near 35 mile per hour winds uh, from Lyman out towards Burlington, up towards Yuma. In the Denver area, we're still very gusty as well. We're more in that 20 to 30 mile per hour range, but it is awful out there. And again, you add in the snow that we have out east, really tough to see. With the wind chill right now, it feels like 10 in Denver, 15 in Fort Collins, feels like 2 in Lyman. Uh, Frisco, Leadville feel like 10 to 15 below and lots of single digits in the high country. We're really at 25 though in Denver, 27 in Fort Collins and out in Boulder, 19 right now in Lyman, 21 in Akron, 5 in Frisco, 6 in Leadville, and it's going to be really cold tonight in many parts of the high country. And then you add in that wind chill, not so fun out there. So again, you still see some snow out there. You add in those strong winds. Visibility is really, really tough out on our eastern plains. The bulk of the snow though has moved over into our friends of Kansas and into Nebraska and down actually into Oklahoma, but that area of low pressure is going to continue to usher in that cold and windy weather for us throughout the overnight hours. It does start to shift, but then we will see a little bit more snow in our high country tomorrow, mainly in the northern and central mountains. Front range eastern plains, we should stay dry, but we will get a little bit more light snow as that uh, northwestern flow starts to take back over. So future cast for tonight, still going to continue to see a little bit of snow uh, for the eastern plains. It should be gone in the next couple of hours. Tomorrow morning, we wake up to sunshine. It's a beautiful day. Sunny skies to start, but we will get a little bit more snow near Steamboat Springs, Eagle, Aspen, and your Vale as well, and maybe even a little bit into the foothills, but the Front Range Eastern Plains, we should stay dry on Wednesday. And our ski reports, pretty great. Steamboat now at over 300 inches for the season with 10 inches of snow in the last 24 hours. Breckenridge 7, Copper Ski Cooper with 6, Vale with 5 inches of snow, and we still have that winter weather advisory in place uh, for Yuma, Kit Carson, and Cheyenne County. It doesn't really have much to do with accumulation, more just the low visibility with those gusty winds that will continue for the next couple of hours. 25 out of DIA right now, and our weather watcher Bob Rising reporting 19 degrees from Estes Park. Almanac for today, 30 hour high out at the airport, 32 downtown. And tonight, a lot of single digits for the Front Range and Plains. High country, almost everyone sub zero. That goes into northeastern Colorado as well. But tomorrow, we get to the low 40s for the Front Range and Plains. Still in the 20s and 30s in the high country. And for your five day forecast, we are warm <laughs> and oh, sunny man. through the weekend. And windless. A little windy on Thursday, but That's not quite all right. as bad. Okay, yeah. thanks.